Salutations, cadets! I am your Commander Pika, and this is for the season of the Wishes Week 1 reset on November 28th, 2023. That's right, the last season before the final shape is here. Time to make a deal with Mara and a dragon. When you launch the game, you'll automatically load into the seasonal intro mission. Complete it to start the seasonal quest chain and get your artifact. If you leave the mission or have issues, you can relaunch the intro mission from the Dreaming City node. For those owners of Lightfall, the final Veil containment message that we know of is here, this time talking about ghosts and the link to light and dark. For a normal reset information, the Crucible node has a new layout and playlist rotation. 6v6 Unranked is Checkmate Control this week, 6v6 Quick Play is Rift, and 3v3 Quick Play is Elimination. And over in Crucible Labs, you have Relic being tested. For the Vanguard node, the Ops playlist has Stasis and Solar Surges, and the weekly Nightfall is PsyOps Battlegrounds Cosmodrome, featuring Unstoppable and Barrier Champions, Stasis and Solar Surges, Void Threat, and Overcharged Shotgun, with the Warden's Law Hand Cannon as the Nightfall Weapon of the Week. Those looking to farm endgame activities, you have the Last Wish Raid, Duality Dungeon, and Operation Seraph Shield as your loot unlocked activities. In Crota's End, the third encounter challenge, Equal Vessels, is active, tasking you to pass the chalice amongst the whole team in the same order throughout the encounter. On Neomuna, the Vex Incursion Zone is in Lemming Harbor. The partition mission is Hard Reset, and the campaign mission is Desperate Measures. For Dares of Eternity, it is in Loot Rotation 4, featuring weapons from Season of the Lost. Looking at our various vendors, Banshee got a rework this season. Each day, you'll be able to focus Banshee's Ingrams into specific Foundry weapons. The Foundries available have a 4-day cycle that should progress as shown on screen. Today's Foundries are Suros and Amalon. To earn Engrams to focus, continue to rank Banshee up or form Lost Sectors and World Chests for Engrams. Over on his next page, you still have his daily featured weapons. Unfortunately, nothing of note right now. Maybe that Iota Draconis with Under Pressure and Frenzy. If you head over to Master Rahul, you'll now be able to exchange currencies for more shards and alloy. And yes, you can still spend your legendary shards on Glimmer. For Ada 1's weekly shaders, you have Valkyrie Zero, Tangled Rust, and New Monarchy Succession. And for you hunters, she's selling a pretty decent 61 stat pair of legs. With that, on to the news. If you haven't heard yet, the final shape has been delayed to June 4th, 2024, making Season of the Wish the longest season in history. Even though there is a delay to give the expansion more polish, there is still stuff coming to fill the gaps, like the free PvP map pack and a free-to-play quest activity thing called Into the Light coming in April. Full details on the article link below, as well as a video from game director Joe Blackburn. This season also sees the addition of Fireteam Finder, aka in-game LFG. Full system isn't out, but they need your help to test it. This Thursday we'll have a raid stress test, with a larger beta rolling out in December. So, help Bungie test the system and dive into the world of LFG and the endgame. Now, for patch notes for update 7.3.0, which will be linked in the description, I don't have the time to go through all of them as we've known most of the changes from previous twids and articles, and I don't think you want a 20 minute video. For the patch notes worth talking about that we didn't know, let's see. Fixed an issue where sliding too many decay armor charge mods would cause them to stop functioning. In Crota's End, Fix the issue with player abilities going through high barriers, and losing the enlightenment buff when attempting to pick up a sword while performing a finisher. Implemented a double rewards boost for Crucible, uh, unclear on what that exactly means. Base glimmer awarded from core ritual activities have been increased, along with a chance at enhancement cores and those awards increasing based on wins. Fix the speedrunning cheese in Lake of Shadows where you could skip to the boss room, reduce the melee launch suppression time for victims struck by certain melee abilities, now the big one. Fixed a systemic issue where network projectiles could predictably cause impact damage multiple times, which was made worse at higher frame rates. Additional changes to Sentinel Shields and Blade Fury Super Melees to be a flat 3 second cooldown, update Sword Reticles to convey more information and flare, and buff Warlock's Pocket Singularity Void Projectile Melee. If you want more info on Season of the Wish and its gear, I recommend heading on over to Bungie's site. Good list of info, pictures, and links to prior twits going over all the other changes that went live in this update. Alright, time to check in with the Bright Dust section of Eververse. We have a new blue and white shader, along with a selection of emotes and ornaments from Season of the Witch that weren't previously sold for dust. I'll have the whole section scroll on screen now. With that, go enjoy Season of the Wish. Lots of weapons, like seasonal weapons, reprise undying weapons, refresh of the Dreaming City perk pool, new dungeon on Friday, and several new world drop weapons which all have some spicy perks. 
I do plan to eventually have a season guide out, but I have an upcoming trip and other projects, so that probably won't go out for a couple weeks. But there are other amazing creators out there if you have any questions about the season. Now, I have to go dive into the season and all the changes. Goal for the week is a deep dive on the Banshee, Rahul, and Economy changes this season, as I'm sure plenty are confused and wondering if they were good changes. To get notified of those changes and help support the channel, then ring the bell, leave a like, and hit subscribe. And if you want to meet other Guardians and explore this new season, come join the Sundog Gaming Discord. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.